Right away after I graduated high school, I thought the BGSU men's course was a great place for me to be, and I, I joined right away as a freshman in the fall of 1986, and, and uh, spent four years of, uh, uh, four of the best years of my life as part of men's course. I'm Dave Pickering, went to men's chorus, uh, 78 through about 82. I was a terminal student and a walk-on men's chorus student. Who am I? Why am I here? Not a member of the men's chorus. It was all a blur. So three and a half years, I was one of RD's little critters. I really have no solid training in the sociology field, but you know, I think that uh, just based on the videos that I've seen on the men's course, that I can give some in-depth analysis on what I've seen. My roommate and I, we stayed at the Times Square Hotel. And uh, this guy, everybody went to the shows and stuff, and my roommate and I stayed just in the room and watched TV, and this, this guy comes in, I, I wish I could remember his name, but uh, he comes in, we were talking about partying and things like that and how you could, uh, you know, have a guy take three deep breaths and squeeze his chest and have him pass out on the floor. And he thought we were pulling his leg and we like, no dude, it, it really happens. And so my roommate, he said, oh, yeah, go ahead Dave, do it to me. I'm like, okay. And, you know, he takes some three deep breaths and I squeeze and he just, just rolls out down to the floor and this guy thought we were just making this up and he was, we were faking it. And he's like, no, really, just try it, dude, come on. And so this guy, is he's gonna go to a Broadway show and he's all decked out, dressed up, ready to go. And uh, so he takes three deep breaths and I squeeze his dress and he goes down to the floor, he wets his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and he wakes up, he's going, he's like that, and he goes, <laughs> I, I like beer. <laughs> we just talked to Brian Zatow. God, I love him. You're pretty. Brian Zatow. I didn't meet Zatow till probably the, I don't know, maybe the second year. He just sort of appeared. Yeah! I don't remember when he came on the scene. I would think if I saw Brian naked. I'm feeling kind of nipply. Absolutely. Brian Zatow was my hero. I went to a men's chorus concert when I was a, a junior in high school and I was blown away by what they were able to do and what they were able to accomplish. And I thought, wow, if I could ever be talented enough to be part of that group, what an amazing thing that would be. Did you, did you go <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> As you slung the hell margaritas, <laughs> I'm gonna show you naked in the background. There's things in this video that just are not safe for children to watch. I wasn't at the eight man party. Eight man. Eight man. I never really understood it much. I found the eight man to be disturbing. The ape man. Ape man! I realized that underwear comes in so many colors. <laughs> yeah. Red. Oh my red, gosh! Uh, sort of a speedo effect. I apparently was out of the loop on that because I did not see all the male flesh. Underpants. Everybody in underpants. Thank God for all that, but I didn't see any of that. So. Ape man! <laughs> ape man! Ape man! You know I wasn't a part of that. Well, you know, it changes a man. When you've seen silk underwear, legs straight up in the V for victory, digging himself big time after stripping off a tuxedo, and making those <coughs> noises that he used to do. Because, as he always said, I'm just scratching my throat. Yeah, well, that's not all he scratched, because, I mean, he had that from under cheese going on all the time. Anyway, so, I'm sorry, lost my concentration there for a second. 
Mark Manette is an interesting character. Um, a little guy, which brings with it, again, since I'm an expert on this, brings a lot of its own issues. Monty! 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 Hi. Um, I'm not going to say hi to my mom and dad because they don't give a shit. Um, they don't love him. He will say, Boo! <laughs> Boo me! <laughs> and, oh, you want a drip? I'm basing a lot of this is on, you know, my analysis on this little booklet I got out of a Cracker Jack box, so. Actually, it's funny, because I didn't really know Mark all that well. I remember the day that Mark Manette showed up at Men's Chorus. It was the beginning of my second year, and I was the established librarian of the chorus. You know, pretty important guy. Watch Pan the, bath, the bus here and uh, show Tom that everyone's having a good time. And in shows up Mark Manette sitting up there and R.D. asks him to introduce himself and tell a little bit about himself. So he stands up and tells me how great he is and that he owned his own cleaning business and that he was a successful businessman and that he intended to be president of this chorus and blah, 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 blah. And he was the most obnoxious little prick I'd ever seen. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. That was a <laughs> like if you went to McDonald's with Mark and he was eating french fries, and you grabbed one of his french fries and ate it, he'd be like, they're yours. I'm not going to eat them. And I came home, and I think I told whoever my girlfriend was at the time, I really did not like him. That was my first impression of Mark Manette. The last spring tour I went on, I was on bus one. Hey, fuck bus one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Mr. Jesse? Fuck bus one. <laughs> <laughs> fuck bus one. Why was there so much farting? I'm not gonna fart, I'm trying not to shit my pants. <laughs> oh, oh, Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh geez. Wait, I put my mouth and nose anywhere. Ass cheese. <laughs> that. That right there. Taco Bell. I remember when he oh said. Oh <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question? Excuse you. Did you ever fart on stage? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it was a release, exactly. I think it was the dietary issue, fiber. I think that I may have dropped a load in the toilet. Air would recirculate in the bus every 60 seconds. We are uh, just uh, just south of Bowling Green on 75, going about 120. This is like a nuclear weapon. This bus traveling down the highway. Talking to Frank, the bus driver. Frank, uh, how long have you been a bus driver? Uh, not counting yesterday, two days. Okay. You've lit, you've lit a fart, right? You've done the crescent moon, <laughs> right? You, you've, you've thrown the legs up, took a lighter. It went through the whole bus. Dude's flash. Done. Safety. That's a whole different, it's a whole different chapter, isn't it? Favorite word? Safety. Close it before we run out. Safety! Oh, fuck. If you're hanging out with dudes and you fart, you must say safety. If you do not say safety and someone calls doorknob, you must run and grab a doorknob. Until that point, until you grab that doorknob, everyone else in the room is allowed to beat you and pummel you with their fists. Doorknob! 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 And suddenly, I'm on a mad scramble for the door. <laughs> Don't let me get to the door! Don't let me get to the door! They're beating my ass, on my back, Mark Manette on my back like a monkey out of hell. Ah, monkey, stop! And the pizza guy, I think, just got there. Something crazy. $18. $18, right there. <laughs> and I reach, grab the door, and I'm at Yeah! Oh, oh, I remember Ray Aceto. More so today than any other time. Ray's. Oh. Ray. He's first and foremost. What do you call it? The, the, the inspiration for, for art. It's called a... Muse. Muse. He's my muse. He's my anti-muse. Ray's my anti-muse. What was my memories of Ray? Uh, 
Ray just had this quality about him. He could sort of get under somebody's skin. But I had to put up with him because he was in my section all the time. But we always knew that he was in his section because we couldn't hear anybody else but him. He was a very powerful bass singer. At times I thought he was really good. At times I thought he was a little forced. I liked Ray's voice, but it was just uh, he had one volume loud. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Ray, and it's interesting when you uh, translate his name. Ray Acido, or Romundo Aceto, actually translates into, I'm going to f*** your wife and or girlfriend. Well, when I knew him, when I knew him, he was Ray Acido from Brunswick or New Brunswick, Ohio. In fact, I remember going to Ray's house for dinner with the chorus. He had he invited the whole group over. His blessed mother cooked for us. And you may remember about Ray, you couldn't insult his mother. There was all kinds of stuff that could be going on. You could be fighting with Ray, and things could be happy. You could be telling jokes, but if you said, Ray, your mom has got a hairier back than I do, all the fun stopped, and it was go time with Ray. I think he's still alive. I don't know that for certain. Anything is possible. But the point is that you can't really separate Ray from his mom. I think Ray always wanted to be home. That was a little spooky. Go ahead. All right, I'll tell you a story. My daddy took you on an airplane. Okay. My daddy took me on a plane last time. The woman has no English language. She knows nothing what she said. See, that was the same family that after they fed us the cobweb rolls, they put us in the citation, if you remember what a Chevy citation was, and trucked us down to the local bowling alley where the host daughter, who had to be all of 15 or so, she grabbed us, there were four of us, and trotted us into the bowling alley, and we, she paraded us up and down the league telling all of her friends, look, I have boys at my house. We never really stole panties. It wasn't like a panty raid. I remember gawking at, like, host daughter's pictures of being busted by the family. We're in their room looking, and they come in. Yes, move your head. Would you want to look at that? I can't see it, Huey. You need to back up. We got your mom and dad, we didn't get you. <laughs> oh, happy. I heard about this. <laughs> so say cheese. Say goodbye. Say cheese, goodbye. 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 Come goodbye. again. Goodbye. <laughs> but you know, I always held that, that line of respect for the host daughters, even if they were hot. Yeah. It was that last tour, the uh, Spring 90 tour. Craig Housen was my roommate. And uh, the last stop before we came back to Bowling Green was North Canton. And Craig became rather fond of the daughter of the host family. It was actually the daughter, yeah, and, and she was like 16. And I don't Craig was. And um, anyway, so Craig and I were sleeping in this pull-out couch. And I think I did fall asleep. I didn't realize that the young lady of the family joined us. Um, she worked her magic on Mr. Housem. Um, Wow. That's... <laughs> Magic? Write that down. <laughs> I... What are you saying? I wonder why he was taking a bath. I said, what are you doing? Damn it! And, um, <laughs> well, he, anyways, um, he, that wait, wait, was... that he worked was, his magic. She worked his magic next to you on the height of it? Okay, I, I'm here. Craig's here. She's there. Wow. I think I was aware that something was going on, but we had traveled from New York. We'd come from Times Square all the way to North Canton. We'd done a show. You know, those are long days. I think I slept through part of the night. Craig didn't sleep at all, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> that was, that was, that's a key on That was, that was. That's history books. And you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> and I don't, I'll tell you what, I was just talking to Rob over here on the side. I'll tell you what, I, I don't mind saying, Craig Housen in the general vicinity was always known as kind of a dork. And he <laughs> got laid on tour. He's my boy. He is my I don't, boy now. I don't know that he got. I don't know. Yes. I don't know that he got. He didn't get laid. Well, he hell of well, got, he got he a hell of more action than I ever got. He, he, yes, for he, sure he yeah. serviced. Sure as hell got more action. I, I, I think her fingers did the walking, and that oh, was. No. <laughs> yeah, go round right. go south. Oh, Still more than I ever got on tour from a girl. No yes. shit from a girl. From a girl. Thank you. Boys, we all got from a girl.